porencephaly. So porencephaly was originally named from a Greek word that denotes passage or pore. This was named as such because originally the defect was noted to pass or provide communication between the ventricle and the subarachnoid space. In this specimen, we note that this part can get thin enough and when this gets thin enough, this may rupture and create the passage between the ventricle and the subarachnoid space. It's important to understand that porencephaly most often occurs due to ischemic infarcts early in life. So what happens during infarcts? When a tissue dies, it eventually gets replaced by fluid. And we see that happen a lot in adults. And during chronic infarcts, we note changes as encephalomalacic changes. So let's recall what it looks like. So what lines this cystic space which replace the brain parenchyma? Is it gray or white matter? So we see here that it's white matter. This is also the case in porencephaly. In porencephaly, the cystic cavity is also lined by white matter, as you can see here. If the insult occurs later in gest gestation, say more than 20 weeks, the glial cells or the supporting cells are able to form gliosis or scar, as we can see here. Because we know that the problem stem from a vascular insult which result to an infarct, now we understand why porencephaly is classified as an intraparenchymal fetal intracranial cyst. So porencephaly again is an intraparenchymal cyst. So in summary, here are the three key features of porencephaly. If I were to remember just one point from these three, I'd pick encephalomalacia. The next time I hear or encounter porencephaly, I'll think encephalomalacia, which stems from an infarct. Then I'd think uh, infarcts occur within the parenchyma. Hence, it's an intraparenchymal cyst. And since it's an intraparenchymal cyst, it gets lined by white matter. For me to remember that it is porencephaly, which is associated or caused by encephalomalacia from an infarct, and not schizencephaly, I'll try to remember the letter E for encephalomalacia. E comes earlier in porencephaly compared to schizencephaly. That's it. Thank you very much for your time. Join me next time as we talk about schizencephaly.